All right, all right. I know y'all listening because I'm listening. Welcome to the Just Tie Now show with your host Ty or Santi nowadays, guys. I'm going to give y'all, give it to you straight. Combine your minds with your heart. Connect those two circles. Let whatever come out, come on out. A lot of the things I want to, we do not condone the use of the legal drugs on this channel. What you decide to do with your body is what you decide to do. Do not recreate anything. This is for harm reduction purposes only. So, guys, man, this is your boy Santi here on the airways, traveling through the ethers. After my experience, experiences. That's who I am now. That is who I am because all the confirmations that I got in my head. You're not crazy. I got to tell you that. Or I got to say, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So when you see me doing that, you can hear my voice repeating in your head or your voice repeating through my head, through your head, however you want to look at it, however up there you are, wherever you are in space. And you can be like, I'm not crazy. But you can hear the enthusiasm. I'm not not crazy because we question ourselves I'm not crazy I'm, am I crazy and then just that alone asking that question uh, gives territory for doubt gives a lot of territory for doubt so let's rid all of that because a lot of awesome things was confirmed as well as exercised and what I mean by being confirmed is that it wasn't the mushroom wasn't anybody external it wasn't nobody external not the, it was nobody external telling me a story Writing me a story, br brushing me up with all these good, fine and dandy thoughts and wishes. It was me in the dark, alone with myself. And as I see now, the multiverse, the universe, all the parallel dimensions, all the infinite amount of fractal fractalized realities was laid out before me. So in order for that to happen, I could not be the person running around that you see now. That you see now, that's impossible. That's impossible. So it totally confirmed. It totally confirms that we are not the body. We are our thoughts. And is we is layer into thoughts because we are behind our thoughts. We are the observer of thoughts. We create the thoughts in the first place. <laughs> it's all about how willing you are to go back. How willing you are to go back. And I know that this is for the trippy stories and stuff like that. I have a lot of skits, a lot of videos that's going to be coming out until this body withers away into dust. Because after this experience and after my countless experiences that's going to happen, that's already happening right now. I just didn't experience them right now. Yet, awesome animations, awesome stories, awesome skits. Awesome and things that I don't even want to put a name on because the more I speak about things, the more it's going to happen. But the more it's going to be all these little doubt thoughts. But man, forget all of that. Fuck all of those thoughts, guys. And love them at the same time. Like really get in with them thoughts that be talking to you in your head saying you ain't good enough. Or you, you, you don't deserve that. Or why would you even go there knowing how things usually are? Because sometimes one plus one is five, guys. Sometimes one plus one is five. And five minus four is three. And if you don't believe, then you need to see for yourself. Because it's a lot of people faking the front out here. It's a lot of people talking and it's all good. The fake is good, the real is good, the bad is good, the 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 good is good, <laughs> the good is bad. <laughs> and just flip everything in reverse. And it's such equally true. So equally true. And the only thing that stops that is the division of our mind, the division of walking around on earth, seeing everything is separate. Even another person is being separate. Even seeing this cup is being separate from you. That is a false reality. But not a false reality, but that is the reality that we exist in while living in this 3D dimensional um, plane that we're in right now. This one configuration that consciousness has made or that the us outside of consciousness that, that, that made this consciousness made right now. Because when the less that we think, the more that we know, the less that we think, the more that we know. Because the knowing is in the now. The now, I should say, is in the knowing. But the reverse is also true. Just ta, just ta, just ta. Just think about these things, guys. Think about these things. Top of my head going to be cut off. But hey, man. <laughs> because it's not, it, it is a game. It's a full-on game now. It's a full-on game. And this and the fact that 
these the technology is available to exit the game. The technology is available to play the game on a more advanced level. Where you have to make sure all your items are in place. That you gotta make sure you got 20 potions up in the chamber with the shortcuts to get to it. Got some ether potions to get your magic back up. Got some spells on deck. Because on the level that we was brought up in or I was brought up in, I didn't get the invitation to Hogwarts at 13. So for me, the the way that life the the way that life was handling itself, the plane of dimensionality that I was existing on, spells and inventory was no need for that. Because you work in a nine to five, you work you you work in a job that's created by another company, so you don't need to have worry about all your items. All you got worries about that you got the items. All you got worry about is your physical things, as when you deal with clothes, family um, interactions, and things like that, and how the job wants you to present yourself to its clients, not your clients, its clients. But you are part of the big picture. You are part of the big picture. That's how a company works. It's all one big entity from the top to the bottom. So I'm not throwing anything. Your life is perfect just the way it is. And that's the only way to realize things as to get past it or to, to do change. See things as neutral, equally good, equally bad. I'm, I'm cool. I, I mean, I'm not even cool. I'm just... I'm just the deepest of breaths. That's what I am. I am the deepest of breaths. The deepest breath you can take, that's who I am. That's who you are. And the more we see ourselves as that on a daily basis, on a daily basis, and it's, why, it's cool with these substances, as I was mentioning, a technology to, to put the game on pause or to allow us to play the game on another level where now we got spells. Now we're dealing with things that we're not hip that we're not even put into that is not even hmm how should I put this the things that you start working with when you start dealing with these mushrooms more and having these big doses big dose silent dark exper experiences is that you start seeing more to life and that what I'm trying to say is if you say, if you talk about spells, magic, chakras, extra dimensions, um, life being different, who we are and things like that on a whole nother level that's not dependent on your job, your role you play in society, what you did last week, what you about to eat tomorrow. When you talk about things that have nothing to do with this physicality, it only is like, if you don't have these experiences, the things that we talk about doesn't matter. Or you think that it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we walk around, I walk around, I walked around or we walk around looking up to other people that so-called got this gift from heaven or gift from God or blessed. <laughs> and it seemed like they life is just so magical. And it's like, well, magic don't really exist. So they must have just really had a lot of cool people come their way and they was just, hey, it just happens like that. Some people like this, some people like that. That's the attitude we grow up with. That's the attitude we taught to grow up with. Because as a child, we grow up thinking we could be anything. We change who we want to be every every week. Every week. You know, when you was a child, you when I was a child, you talked to your daddy, mom, and said, what you want to be, a fireman? Uh, next next couple weeks, what you want to be? A space uh, astronaut. Uh, what you want to be? A garbage man. <laughs> what you want to be? A tech. Um, I, I want to build apps. <laughs> that was the choices they used to give us back in the nineties. Policeman, fireman, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> it's so much more. It's so much more time is going on, and I think it is because I know it's because people have been now going into their imagination off these substances because that's what you're doing. You're going into your imagination. You're going into that realm that people only get glimpses of when they're adults or even when they're teenagers. Some, they don't, we, like, you're not in society, in the society I was brought up in, we weren't raised to 
know to know that the imagination is real. We we see in cartoons and we hear catch little sayings to believe in the imagination, but never to actually know that the imagination is real. Is real. All them things that we hear about as above, so below, if you're into alchemy or hermeticism, that's all about the fractal's reality. How every point of being of you is living out a whole actual life based off the set and circumstances of the build that he's in. What I mean by build is the is the OS system environment that he's existing in. Or the the or the um hard drive that he's moving around in. So you know what I'm going for like that. Just ta, just ta, just ta, guys. I'm over over the place. But I love it. I love it and I hate it at the same time. <laughs> but when it comes to really knowing who we are and connecting to the thoughts and honing into the thoughts, that is what I've been saying all along on this channel, the most one of the most top tier things to put our attention on. What we should Oh, the camera cut off, so I'm gonna keep going with this. But um I was just saying <clears throat> big like what we're paying attention to is what we're going to get back. It's a constant feedback loop. It's a constant zooming in and zooming out. Everything that's connected, everything that you're looking at is based off of your perception of you looking at it. <laughs> if you want some, but um, if you want some story to, to tie on in your own life. Look, check out the Never Ending Story. Check out a lot of cartoons that's been introduced to us. And check out what's going on in your life right now while you're watching this. What synchronicity is happening right now that makes it feel like what you're thinking is causing me to do the actions and say the words that are happening now. The thing is, that is happening right now. It's happening now, it's happening now, it's happening now. Reality is a shifting right now. Reality just shifted again. And right now, just shifted again. And I probably missed like three ships. <laughs> the frame rate is just so fast. Well, well, how can we notice the difference from shifting from one game to another game or to a slightly parallel reality that's right there on the side? <laughs> during my trip, during my um, during my session, during my experience, I saw how I was able to get out of this reality. Like I was mentioning in the end of the movie, how reality, every time I figured out something, and I was figuring it out so easily. I don't remember. I don't have memories of me being stuck in a reality at this point for no more than a couple seconds. And if I did, it was just, I just forgot it because it was probably happening in a whole nother kind of time, time zone or it was. But it was every time I said I figured it out. That the reality wasn't what it was where I was at. It shifted to the left, and I saw the stage cameras and the stage crew. And then that's when I was like, oh, wow, this is being recorded. This is my whole life being recorded. And then bang, zoom out again. Bang, another thing. Boom, 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 boom. Till finally I was shed out of this. It was something uncomprehensible. But it's something that all of us are. And I believe it's part of the thing that created this. No, no. After all the doom, 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 zoom out, that's when I saw me creating it. With the one-man band and all the sound effects and pulling the strings and xylophones and things like that. But it's something beyond that. Something beyond that. I only saw the face as me because of my representation of me here in this dimension. So when I go there and I see the creator and I want, and I want, to, I want to plaster a face on it, it's going to be me. Because that's all it is that's happening. It's just me. All the voices in my head is me. Now there's the executive, there's the boss, there's the whiny, there's the, the happy person, there's the overjoyed person, there's the overly joyed person, there's the dance fanatic, there's the, the freak, there's the, the um, pianoist, there's the smoker. All of them voices is me. All of them voices. And... Since I was able to go into my imagination as well as 
learn while I was there and experience that I can recruit that I create my imagination after going through all the other creations that I created for myself that I thought other outside reflections I was having other outside reflections create for me because it's different in the ways that I could talk because the perspective I talk about when sometimes it's all the way up there it's all the way up there that's the Santi that's Santi talking Santi talking Ty down here would be like saying would be like saying how it relates to our 3D life. How it relates to our 3D life. But Santi, on the other hand, I was... It just all left me. But <laughs> I was up there. Oh, what I was saying, yeah, Santi's up there creating things. And I was having, um, Ty was having, I think that the his own creations was creating monsters for his thoughts and that's how you get in this world of blaming the world for your troubles or trying to get over the world blaming get over the troubles that the world gave you i got to the point where i felt that all the worldly troubles was me it's me doing that it's santi doing that and ty is here is going to experience as somebody outside of himself or ty is going to believe and think is going to think that is outside of itself. I try my best. Ty tries best not to believe anymore. That belief is like white clean. Because what's in my imagination is my reality. And I knew this. And I always wanted to change it. But the real power, the real technology to actually change it didn't come until I took a big enough dose of mushrooms. So all the things that I was practicing for two years, I finally was able to act them out. As if I was some trained monk. And still went through the horrors. And that's what made it so real legit to me. Because it wasn't just, it was all good. It was, oh wow, these are all the fears that I've been trying to run away from. I mean, that I've been trying to um, build myself and build my character to conquer these fears. And I knew I had to embrace them. But when you, when you literally can't see them, you can't, it's hard to embrace it. But when you're fully into that reality and nothing around you exists anymore, except for the things that you always see going in the back of your head or I see, because I'm a real imaginative creature, a real imaginative homo sapien. So I've learned, I'm, so I, when I say be creative in the past, well, in the past, which is still now, <laughs> Well, it's up from Santi. Everything is happening now. Time, like, can make a little bit of division. A little bit of division just to make things make a little sense. But I believe that nonsense is where it's at. Nonsense is the practicality of where all paradoxes are solved. I live, I exist in a world where all paradoxes are solved. Or are solved, reconciled, happening all at the same time. Not till I come down here that I'm like, what is going on? What's going on? <laughs> but now I know what's going on. So a lot of my questioning is, is like, I have different questions now. Not all the questions y'all hear me ask before, I don't really have them anymore. I can act like I have them. And that's what I was experiencing as well. I was experiencing, I guess, the men in black, so to speak, trying to wipe out my memory and make me forget. So I didn't talk to anybody after the after the experience, except for my daughter and them, because they was in the house. But I didn't try to, like, I was keeping it all in. All the thoughts, all the outbound thoughts that was being confirmed, I felt my mind trying to block it out. Because when I came back to this earth dimension, I said, I remember um, something, having a conversation with me and saying that life is a mystery. That's what this is all about. Life is a mystery and I'm playing detective. We're all always playing a detective, trying to figure out something. Because up there, you're not trying to figure out anything. Santi's not trying to figure out anything because Santi knows all. He all knows all. And then it's more above that. Because it's all fractal. <laughs> and the more you may, the more I'm able to, the more you're able to just let loose let go of any concept that you have, any group you belong to, rather it's on Facebook, um, your walk, your wait, your walking around life, your job, your your friend crew, any crew is an identity we forming to exist on Earth. 
or just to say that I exist, I exist, I exist. Democrats, Republicans, America, Canada. It's all the same thing. It's all the same rock and roll hip hop. All the same thing. And what I'm saying too, it is all the same thing. America, South America, same thing. Rock and roll, R&B, hip hop, same thing. Or should I say R&B, rock and roll, hip hop. Y'all know, just Ty. <laughs> same thing, just Ty. Guys. And it takes a lot, and it takes nothing at all to really be who you want to be in life. Really doesn't. I'm going to use examples from, my, from this experience. It really doesn't. Because I was in a land where I was able to, where I hear a lot of people say, I didn't start using this term until I heard them use it. That's what I mean by imagination. When we, see, we take things from outside of ourselves all the time. It's really us, but we use it to build up a language, a coherent language in order to correlate to us. But I want to eventually just talk through symbols. Eventually just communicate through symbols. And you're going to see that. Oh, all right. It just say it's dying. All right. Didn't say cut off. You're going to see that a lot now in my communi in, in communication. But when it comes to talk, this is all symbols too, because my words don't mean anything. These words I'm speaking don't mean diddly quack that black bit bit. They really don't. But it's the feeling and tension behind it that is the real reality. Or another reality that I see in my that I see is creating this one. Not the other way around. Like, oh, I was imagining this. It's no. My, my imagination created this. And somehow, some way, Ty says that it's a channel. Like, in this realm, we say, oh, we create channels to connect us back to source, to connect us to our higher selves, to connect us to who we really were all along. <laughs> There's a lot of realities around, bros. And the joke is always on us. We're always playing a joke on ourselves. And that is beautiful. A lot of people are like, why would I wanna why would I wanna stump my own toe? Why would I cause my grandma to die on my birthday? Why would I um choose to be poor? Why would I choose to be um sad and rich? Why would I, why would I, why would I, why would I? One of the biggest secrets, and to think about it, people pay millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, any price, in order to get the truth. They join secret societies. They join even, well, secret societies I find kind of cool, kind of, because it's kind of group. But, I mean, the societies where you have to pay for truth, like Scientology, where you got to keep go in tears and get different reigns and depending on how long you with the group you get exposed to more elements of the supposed truth of the of the religion or the society or something like that but this way with the mushrooms and everything we're able to just get the truth Wow, this all just ran out of my head. But we're all able to just... Hey, it's going to come back. Yeah, sorry I cut that off. I blinked out for a minute. But what I was... What just ta, just ta, just ta was that if... Instead of going through a whole society thing and trying to find the truth and then giving you pieces is like you could just take a couple grams of mushrooms, sit by yourself in your apartment, in your house, in your loft, anywhere excited, anywhere dark in your basement for the bravest of the brave. <laughs> but, um, and see the truth for yourself and allow yourself to see the truth 
That's why I want to. That's why I'm going to continue putting out random talks and having tiversations, tiversations, combining the mind with the heart, not just keeping the mind at play or letting the heart just get all loose and rampant, but doing both because it's a joke. That's the whole thing. It's a joke. That's why when I was watching Joe Rogan, this lady that was in Scientology, her mother and was in it all her life. She got to a certain tier and she got a good, they told her finally what was going on and she laughed and she like, y'all serious? Y'all serious? And I believe that's just another tear because they know it's a joke too. But they want to make some money. They want to plea here as a, as a, like a real God, a flesh and blood God. How can God be flesh and blood? Or God is just a weak term anyway. Because God can be flesh and blood the way we, we throw away the, around the term God nowadays. <laughs> but in essence, in essence, y'all know what I mean. They, they're running people lives over when they're giving people to run around. They're giving people to run around. And the big thing about it is that we're just running ourselves around. Nobody's doing nothing to us. That's just a reflection I see that in my game, in Santi's game, or in, I guess in Ty's game down here, as a reflection of me trying to play a joke on me because I'm acting like I don't know. Anytime we act like don't we don't know, something is going to come up to act like they do know. And you can be scratching your head or shaking like, huh? And they can come off with so much more confidence than you, than, than your speaker box, your speaker box, your throat chakra. They, their chakras seem a lot more stronger, more in, in, in line. So it seemed like, hey, man, this must be true. Must be more true than what I'm thinking because look how they life living. My ideas ain't carrying me far and carrying me to where I want to go. But it's so wild when you see that. That was you. Every song that I heard before, that was me telling me about what was going on and what was going to happen to me in the future. At that moment that I decided to take that dose and go in. And that was pretty awesome. That was pretty terrific. <laughs> that was pretty terrific. We're going to get a lot more in depth with these because there's a lot that I didn't tell about the trip and things. So I'm going to put it out, like I said, in the form of ideas, in the form of symbols, or in the form of skits, funny ideas, couple minute videos. And if y'all have any, if y'all want to tag along, as always, throw some things this way. Throw some comments. Throw some ideas. Throw yourself this way. Let's meet in the hyper planes, and then that trickles down to us connecting in this dimension through Discord, email, just how now at gmail.com or Instagram. Any way, any way that you can find out, man. Any way that y'all can find out. Because it's a beautiful experience. To have your questions answered by something that's not walking around just as confused as you. Or even more confused. Or with a hidden agenda because they see how confused you are. So they're playing a game on you. Or as Santi says, I'm just playing a game on myself. Just for the mystery. So I always think I got to figure something out. <laughs> but yes, guys. As always, we all tie. But do we really tie? Sometimes I don't know, dude. Sometimes I really don't know. Till next time, this is Santi, aka Ty. Tain Ty always. Check out the 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 the, <laughs> the Just Ty Now store on Teespring. And I'll catch y'all on the tie side. Adios. Tie now store, come and explore. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh.